At the end of October, Hispanic people, people I should say, around the world will take part in one of the most spiritual holidays. It's known as Day of the Dead. And KCAU 9 News reporter Jason Toktagian introduces us to two Siouxlanders looking forward to this year's celebration. Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead, a holiday typically celebrated throughout Latin America from October 31st to November 2nd. Perla Alarcón Flori moved from Mexico to Sioux City when she was 23. She remembers celebrating Day of the Dead during her youth. The Dead has always been a celebration in my family, and I remember in my early years at Grandma's house and she will set up her altars and she will put special dishes that our loved ones that had passed on liked. So she will have things like mole. Day of the Dead celebrations aren't complete without marigolds, sugar skulls, and papel picado as decorations, but the celebration continues outside of home. The true uh, celebrations is um, in the cemeteries when you go and you flowers and you have families that have picnics in the cemeteries and then they bring um, mariachi bands and they have music and they just sit down to enjoy the company of living and dead alike. Now living in Sioux City, Perla says this year's Day of the Dead will be extra meaningful for her family. My mother continues the tradition. She sets up her altars now down in Mexico. I really haven't done it here. However, now my 16 year old, Nisa, is, and my 13 year old both are like, why don't we set up an altar? You know, we should set up an altar. So this year will be the first year that we actually will have an altar here at home. While the celebration is commonplace in Mexico, other Hispanic countries have their own unique ways to celebrate the holiday. In 2015, Gabriela Villacrez moved to Siouxland from Ecuador, a country with a unique Day of the Dead tradition. It's from November 1st and second we take um, two days as a national holiday and throughout the whole month you're gonna find it's like a purple drink it's made of like a dark corn and it's also like thick but it's very fruity something via Cres admittedly has a hard time finding in Siouxland it's a little bit difficult because all the recipes uh, my grandma is usually the one in my house in Ecuador who makes a drink which is really delicious. It's called um, Colada Morada. Despite being thousands of miles away from home, Via Crest still finds a way to honor important people in her life. Especially my dad. It's hard because I cannot go to his grave, but I like to same thing talk to him, tell him how things are going on in my life, or if, like, even if he could help me out. Regardless of the unique traditions, Dia de los Muertos carries the same importance for Hispanic people around the world. We celebrate them. We honor them. We give them the importance. Um, even though after they passed away, we're still, um, we're given, we're going to give them that special treatment because they are very, very important. This is not a time of mourning at all. There is this belief that there is life after this life. And then there is this belief that your loved ones are still there loving and caring for you. For Hispanic Heritage, Jason Taktagian, KCAU 9 News.